Okay, so we're recording a PlayStation 2 game, and we're going to see if YouTube's recorder thing works well, and if it does, then we'll be recording Let's Plays using that. It's a, a game by Sony Computer Entertainment Europe. What game could it be? Well, one that can only be used by analog controllers. So what could it be? It's got a cute little monkey. That's right. Has anyone noticed the intro? I'm just doing an LP of Ape Escape. Probably one of my favoriteest games. One of them, anyway. I love the series. I love this game. The music's all fun and happy. Hmm, I think looks a bit darker, but at least I can preview what's happening. Hey Spike, do you think the professor finished his time machine? He said he's almost done. Then maybe we can ride it today. Okay. If so, I'm running on it. Hey, let's see Yep, this is just checking how the YouTube catcher works. Okay, I got it. This becomes this, and when it becomes that, this goes like this. Therefore, that became this. We did it, Katie. The time machine is completed. This isn't the time for that. Spike, can you hear me? Something awful has happened. You have slipped in time with the accident earlier. You will soon arrive in the prehistoric era when dinosaurs existed. On top of that, the monkeys also have slipped in time in various eras. If we leave them alone, the history of Earth will be in disarray. So Spike, I need you to do this for me. Luckily, you should have two of my gadget inventions. I want you to use these to catch as many monkeys as you can. You can catch the monkeys using the net. And if by any chance you are in danger, counter-attack using a club. It will be useful. It is a tough job, but you can do it. I'm relying on you. Andrew's having a good old rave to this. I love this game. Do your best. Um, 
dun, 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 dun. select gadgets. Oh wait, no, there. There we go. That's how I normally have them. This is Ape Escape. Woo! Um. Oh, you still have the spin function in this game. I don't remember that. Um. This game is different to other games as the analog sticks are your attack, and your face pad is select gadget. L2 and R2. Uh, uh, L1 center the camera behind you. L2 is look via binoculars. R1 is jump. Um, yeah. If the quality looks better or worse, it's because I'm using the YouTube webcam capture, which will probably be better than my other cap using Windows Movie Maker, because that's only going at 15 frames per second. And I'm currently. Ooh, stuff is blinking in the distance, but I'm blaming the game because the game is old. Tilt the right stick to swing the club in any direction. Beat the enemies by swinging and turning the club around. You can also make monkeys fall down. Press the R1 button to jump. Swing the stone club with the right analog stick. Jump with the R1 button. Good luck! Jump! Spins. This is like... This feels quite clunky, the jumping, compared to my other game. The first game, but that doesn't matter later games, but it doesn't matter. Try switching your gadgets, holding the circle, X, triangle, or square buttons. Switch to the time net and catch the monkeys. The time net is swung by tilting or turning the right analog stick. You can swing the time net in the circle too, like this. Later on, it gains better functions. Get back here, monkey! This game's harder and easier in a sense to the other ones, but I need to play the other ones. But, um, the net doesn't swing to the side, unlike the other ones. And monkeys generally fall down in one hit with the stunt club, where in the later games they take more. Round up cookies on the left hand shows your life. When you've tossed all your cookies, your mission ends. We... We've been recording seven minutes and we've only caught one monkey. Don't worry. We'll be catching monkeys left, right, and center. I'm gonna play through the game, and then when it has to, and then we will go back and revisit and get the rest of the monkeys, because I can't be bother revisiting the stages three times rather than two. Get back here, monkey! The monkey is got. Well done. I'm actually enjoying this immensely, just because I haven't played this game in years. I love my ape escapes. Call her Katie, but she changes her name like in the sequel. But so does Spike as well. Stage clear. This is pretty much time limbo. Welcome to the time station. Everything will help you with your mission. This mission is what room? Run right in front of you. Switch will take you to the stage select area. Behind you are red switches. Load and save. Be sure to read the mailboxes to learn from them. This way is for training? I think. No, nope, that's mini games and unlocking them. Okay. Actually, let's hit the thing and find out. This is a minigame corner. Play minigames, gather Spectre coins hidden in stages. Once you collect the number of Spectre coins on the monitor, you'll be able to play minigames. You can confirm the number of coins you collect by hitting start and then hitting circle. <laughs> As you can tell, the jumps are quite floaty, but that's because it's the first game. Nope. There's no tutorial for the original gadgets. They do have one in the later games. You should go here? Yes. With the awesome transactions. I think that's the warp pad. Return to the time station. I don't want to go there just yet. I want to go this way, because we're going to save. Step on the switch to save the game. Check out Monkey Data. In the other room, there are training spaces, minigame, Connie. You should try them out, too. 
Bush. Load save. Monkey book. I love the monkey book. The monkey books are always fun in each game because we caught some monkeys. Monkey blur. Rocket stage leader. Crew rocket pilot. Fruity loves bananas. Later on they get really daft names as well. Which is hilarious. And this game is it's ripe with comedy. The whole season series is and it's a great game. So let's save. Saving! Do not remove memory card. And then we will see how YouTube's uploader worked. Continue playing? Yes.